Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Um, as you know, it's Thursday for match preview for this weekend's Brighton game, which is against Tottenham. Um, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first thing I'm going to address up on, if you watched last, uh, my last one, which was Southampton uh, for the league game, um, you know how I'm going to do this now. Um, but before I get on to the Stockton game, I just want to talk to you about that Southampton game. Um, I thought that first half we were very, very edgy. Uh, obviously I know quite a few of you went, up, went over there, I should say. Not over there, it's not up. Um, but if you watch it back on telly, um, we looked like we didn't know what we were doing um, in that first half. And I want to start questioning, why are we playing five in midfield when we're two goals down? I felt Chris took a huge risk there. If I was Chris shooting in that second half, I probably would have turned it into a 4 4 2 formation. Perhaps take uh, the Zemo off and bring the Guardia in. You know, and change it up a bit. Um, I think we're being caught out quite a lot by our tactics now. Um, but it needs to change quickly. Um, obviously no pass or bows in this game either. And for Spurs, no Hugo Luis or Debbie Alley, as I've heard. Um, whether Hugo Luis makes a comeback, it would be, remains to be seen. But I don't think he's in, and I don't think Dalieri's in either. Uh, who says it's a good time to play Tottenham? I'm not so sure. Um, I know there's like, they've got their new ground going on, and all the other things. The funny thing is, you've got to be able to play Tottenham's new ground in the new FIFA before they do. Uh, obviously, a lot of Tottenham fans ain't liking that. Um, now, what Spurs said at the start of last season, saying we're going to no ground in a year, I thought that was very optimistic. Optimistic, and um, yeah, um, you know, I'll, when you when you say I'll go have a new stadium in 365 days, you know, it's gonna be. I was like, uh, okay, it'd be tight, but. Suppose you could do it, and now we're stuck behind uh, why it's getting finished. Um, they got to play Stadium and cave the Paramount Cup. They're playing at Wembley for the Championship League and League uh, their home games. But what I really want to know is when the stadium's going to be finished. And don't forget, especially as fight fans, there's no risk for the league game dash of the can play there. They need safety certificate. Now, we planned a friendly with Tottenham for the under 23s to go up there and play them. Whereas we had the Sussex Senior Cup final at the Amex. Um Now, I don't know how they're going to get a safety certificate now, but it's going to be a weird one when it comes along. But anyway, that's what I'm going to dress up on. Um, now, our last five games, we've drawn, drawn, lost, one, drawn. Two draws in five games. I can't take a point um, for both of them, considering we're two no down both of them. Um, and then we came back to a world. But I think we need to start getting a little bit uh, winning one uh, up and coming because the games we have got coming up. Uh, well, the Spurs have lost, lost, 1-1-1, one, one, one. Um, you know, and they're on that losing streak, so it could be quite an interesting game. Um, last time we played this fixture, it was a one all draw. Um, last time we played as well, it was a one all draw, obviously the last time we played each other was down here at the Annex. Um, so it could be quite an interesting game as I've just said, but let's hope for three points. 
And um, now here's my 1 to 11 in goal, Matthew Ryan. And an excellent game against Southampton. Uh, their first goal, he really didn't have a chance. I think he stepped too far to the right. But, as I said, amazing keeper, I'll keep him in. Right back, Martin Montoya. Had an amazing game against Southampton, especially in the second half. I can't really say a lot of them had a good game in the first half. I think the only one that did have a good game in the first half was probably not half. Um, at centre back, I go with Shane Duffy on this one side. Uh, yeah, we haven't got a lot of choices there. Um, but, you know, this is what I'm expecting to be. Um, and then in the other centre back position, I've gone with Lewis Dunk. Um, as I said, we're really struggling for them sort of places. Um, I think we should have probably got one in the window. Um, but I reckon it'd be the double D anyway. Um, in the left back, now this is hard. Uh, Bong had a poor game against Southampton. Uh, Bernardo's not quite ready for the Premier League. I would, but I don't think it would be Stick Bruno in there. But as I said, I don't think he will because he's a trained right back. So in left back, I'm going to have to put Bong in there because we ain't got no really other choice. The only other choice we have got is Sipgar, but he ain't making any appearances at any time soon. Um, I don't know why that is. I probably would like to get him back, give him another chance. But as I said, I've gone with Bong in that uh, position. In left midfield, I go with. I'm actually going to change up this week. Um, I'm actually going to put Jackabash in there. Came on against Southampton, and I think he changed the game up quite a lot. He came to the Southampton down the left side, a lot of problems when he came off for Sonny Mark. But. You know, I would put, put him down there, give him a chance. You know, he's spending all his millions of pounds and we're not seeing him. What's the point? Um, but yeah, I'll put Jackabash down in that left mid. Um, you know, other than that, we've got Solly March and Iskiedo. Iskiedo probably will be on the bench for this game, I'd be surprised if he's not. Um, Center, um, Kazuma. Yet again, a place where we're struggling for players. Um, but that's why I put the Zuma in there. Um, and I've got a different position for David Popper, which you'll find out in a minute. Uh, in the other centre midfield, I'll go with Dale Stevens. Now, Dale Stevens isn't. He's getting there, but I think he's still lacking a bit of pace and fitness. I say that, but he has played a lot of minutes in this uh, season already. Um, right midfield, I've mentioned him earlier, Anthony Knockhart. The only good player, only the only good player we did have in the first half in that Southampton game. Even though a lot of our players did look off, he's the one that helped good for me. Um, who else do a few in that Southampton game? I mean. Um, I mean, you've got, you know, in the second half, I think all of them play pretty good, but who stood out for you in that first half? Um, I, and behind the striker, because as I passed on guys, I'm going to stick David Popper in there. Um, you know, get, get a bit of a pace beyond uh, the striker, you know, and let's see what happens. Um, now, our striker's position, I think this is very weak indeed. Um, now, I do read a lot of your comments on social media, on certain things. Now, we've got three strikers, LaGuardia. Now, he's not quite there yet. We've got um, Florentina, who's on his way back from injury. Is he going to be up to pace when he comes back? It's full training and play a game. I don't think so. Um, 
Then we've got Glenn Murray, who I haven't got a picture to put up front for this game. But he's, I still like he's lacking a little pace. Um, I think we should have let Tom Henry go. I think we should have kept hold of Tom Henry. Um, and perhaps done something else in that strike as well. I would have put the body out on mine and kept Tom Henry in. But anyway, it's too late now. But as I said, Glenmore has got my strikers position. Uh, good penalty against uh, Fulham and Southampton. Let's just hope they scores with open play this time and manage to get the three points. Um, what I'm expecting from the game, I'm expecting a very scrappy game. Um, if Tottenham played anything like I did against Liverpool, and we play anything like I did against Southampton. Now, if Spurs play like I did against Liverpool, we've got a chance. If we play like we did against Southampton, I think it could be a draw. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm going to bring this video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Yeah, no.